how would you describe your first i mean obviously you've been there and with the program for a lot longer but in terms of gameplay month or so in under your belt now how would you kind of describe your first few weeks in madison um yeah i mean one, one of the biggest words i think to describe the first few weeks here in school just having fun uh you know having fun with the schooling part basketball part off the court part with you know everything else in the, in the locker room out of the locker room it's been it's been a lot of fun uh and there's been a lot of joy that goes into it too you know going into the preparation stuff with games going into practice lift and then you know obviously the games are fun itself but everything leading up to it and uh you know everything that goes into playing a game it, it's been a lot of fun and it's been a lot of joy so far everyone talks about you being such a good culture fit at wisconsin why do you think that is uh i don't know a lot of people make different comparisons to players i think in the past which uh can be in some other people's eyes a, a good fit but really just you know the style of play they play here and and me growing up in the state of wisconsin kind of watching it uh you know molded by it a little bit too um I think, I think that's one of the biggest reasons I've just had to, I've grown up watching it. Uh, it's been a part of my life for, since I've been born. So um, I, th I think that's one of the biggest reasons just being an in-state kid and, and seeing it all the time is, is help. You kind of alluded to it there, but the, the Nina culture and style of play, do you think that makes that transition to Wisconsin a little bit easier? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, I think what coach Robles has going on up there in Nina uh, with that program is it's in really good hands uh, and they're going to be super successful. And just in terms of how we played in high school too, uh, you know, looking to maybe sometimes slow down the pace. If you're playing an up-tempo team, take care of the ball at a very high level and rebound and just be tougher and, uh, you know, more physical than the other team. So I think they are uh, obviously different, different intensities between the two levels for sure. But yeah. Kind of go hand in hand with one another. I was actually talking to Coach Robbins the other day down there for a story, and we, we were talking about you a little bit. And he just talked about you know one how happy he is for you. Two, he yeah. said you know you've earned everything that you've that you've gotten, and you've done it the right way. What what does that mean to you? Do doing it the the right way, as he put it. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not really <laughs> the right the right way. What he may be alluded to by that, but I I, I do know what he's talking about earning it. Uh, just keeping my head down working, uh, you know, whether it was in middle school, high school, and then obviously once you get to the next level in college, the work only begins. So just being able to be focused and keep your head down, not necessarily let other people's opinions or outside noise get to get to your thoughts or what you might think of yourself and having that confidence in yourself, you know, to, to believe that you can play at a high level, you can play at this level. Or you can, I mean, you can do anything. So just having that confidence and knowing, trusting your work, uh, is a really big deal. And I think that's what helps me the most. You mentioned like comparisons to other players. It seems like the Brad Davison comparison is like all over the place, especially the last week or so. What do you, what do you think of that one? Cause I know when you were in the process of transferring, that's kind of what they talked about, right? Like that Brad Davison type role. Do you embrace those types of comparisons or you just try to go out there and be Max Klesman? I mean, I, I think what you, like you said, it's a little bit of both. I mean, obviously there's been plenty of great players, that have been like Josh Gossers, actual Michelle Walter, Brad Davidson, uh, Ben Bruss, different types of kids like that, you know, that come through this program uh, that you try to take a little bit of something from each of them to try to implement in your year game, not necessarily one person's thing, but uh, just try, trying to be the best player you can be possibly by pulling these different things and tools into your, into your arsenal. So uh, yeah, I definitely don't, you know, shy away from the comparisons. I think they're awesome, you know, uh, Hearing, hearing them and seeing, seeing what people think. But yeah, just trying to pull a little bit from everybody's game. I know you're looking forward right now, but like going back to the transfer process, what ultimately was it that drew you back home? Was it just the allure of being a Badger? Was it wanting to be closer to home? I mean, did, did multiple things factor into it? Yeah, you know, there's multiple things that, that go into the, to the decision, you know, having sit down with my family, having a conversation with them, decide that that'd be the best reason. And, you know, just being homesick a little bit too, being far away from home, not being able to have, you know, uh, both sets of parents, you know, I got a little brother and little sister too, that uh, would have loved to come to some college games too. And then, you know, grandparents on both sides as well. So uh, just being a little tough, not seeing those people at the games necessarily. Um, you know, knowing that everybody's watching it back home on ESPN Plus. So, yeah, uh, just mix of different reasons with, with being homesick as well. Um, 
were, were, was the reason for me. What did you learn those those two years down there? I mean, I imagine kind of a culture shock going from Wisconsin to South Carolina and all that. But you know, you obviously must have taken some some good things away from it too. Oh, for sure. I mean, hundred uh, you percent. Know, like the the people, my teammates that I had down there, uh, forever will cherish those memories and moments that we've made. Uh, for the rest of my life um it it, re it really like it, it was a good learning process for me you know never being down south before it was it was good to experience and like you said see a different culture of, of the united states and see how things work down there and you know definitely i'm grateful for my time down there and appreciate all the relationships and everything i had but uh yeah the, the weather the weather is the other part too uh <laughs> not so much snow down there but i missed it i missed the snow a little bit too yeah, it's coming, man. It'll be, it'll be here soon. Um, for sure, for sure. Going back to Saturday, obviously exciting finish for you in the the Marquette game. Take me through that last play. I, I just rewatched it again, and like you made a beeline for the bucket there as soon as Chucky got to the baseline. Can you just kind of walk me through your perspective on that play. Yeah, you know, obviously you want to have the ball in Chuck's Chuck's hands at the end, or you know, T, uh, Tyler, one one of those two. Um, kind of, you know, saw Chuck was going to go baseline with it. Uh, just really cut to the middle of the hoop, hope giving him another outlet. Maybe if if he couldn't get a bucket, then he'd have me or someone else just trying to give him another look at uh, something. And he, he threw it and kind of caught it, just turned around. I knew it was late shot clock and flipped it up and it went in. So, uh, yeah, good, good pass by Chuck, really good, I mean, good read by him. And uh, whatever it took to get it done, that's what it was. So That'll go down, at least in recent history, is one of the – well remembered i think wisconsin marquette moments and games i mean that was an incredible game what what was your first taste of that rivalry like it, it was so much it was awesome uh i had to take a few times just to stand there look around the stadium like take it all in and see like wow you know this is what you've been working for this is what you wanted like you your whole life playing this rivalry game as a wisconsin kid watching it growing up uh to be a, to be able to be there and actually play in the game was a completely different story. It was it was a lot of fun, you know. There's a lot of uh, nerves before the game that you that you get feeling. Just you don't you don't want to let your university down. You don't want your uh, your family and your your teammates down and any of that stuff in a rivalry game. So yeah, just super grateful and glad that got in there uh, for the first time and we could pull that one out. Safe to say that's your number one moment in your short Badgers career, your young Badgers career. <laughs> oh yeah, I would say number one, yeah, basketball moment right now for sure, just in general, maybe. So uh, a couple more for you. Just overall, you, you guys obviously are off to a great start, played really well in the Bahamas. What what do you think this team's ceiling is, big picture? Yeah, no, I, I think the ceiling is, you know, still yet to be determined. I think it's it's still it raises a little bit every day. Uh, you know, uh with the record or whatever we have now, we, we still know there's so much more room for improvement that we can work on, that we can practice and drill about. Uh, and there's room for strength, like, you know, getting bigger, stronger, faster, and quicker as well on this team. So like, like I said before, I think the ceiling only keeps rising for, for the, this group of guys that we got here now. So. And last question I wanted to ask you about, um, this is at Nina, the last year of the field house, which is, you know, one of the more oh, famous yeah. venues in the area. Um, well, from your perspective, somebody who played there four years, what are, what are your memories of that place? How are you going to remember it when they move into the new gym? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, that, that's the gym that kind of founded it for me. Uh, going in there as a freshman and playing with the older guys on the varsity team in the first open gym and being absolutely scared out of my mind to even treble or shoot the ball. Uh, looking back on it, it's just like it's crazy now to see, you know, where we've made and where where we're at. But yeah, that 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 gym and that field house, Ron Anderson Field House, who my dad played for, uh, means a lot to me. It, it will ever forever mean a lot to me. Um, and I hope that I think like those middle schoolers that are going to have it for these next years can you know cherish it as much as as we did and my teammates did in high school. So awesome. I appreciate that, Max. Great talking to you, man, and uh, continued success to you. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it.